Hey everyone, I'm back, and uh, while we're here in this distant village where I was basically thrown into a spider's nest by crazy cultist people who weren't actually even cultist people to begin with. So now I'm basically on a quest to find the nest mask guy, which I might have seen very briefly in the last part, but I wasn't too sure. Yeah, I'm just going to skip past him there. Okay, so I'm basically just trying to figure out my way around the rest of it, and hopefully I'll find something soon. Yeah, just trying not to get sniped by these spiders, because down here they're pretty dangerous, so... No, probably could have been doing that to begin with, but oh well. Well, that's one way to get the Geo here. Still would like to know how to get up there, because that might be my key to even getting anywhere. Yes, 
excuse me, excuse me. Jeez. Aha! Looks like I found what I was looking for. Probably best to take this guy out first if I can. So I'm just gonna do that quickly. Ah, sheesh. One more hit should do it, I think. There we go. Okay, just wanted to get that guy out of the way, just in case, but... Looks like we found our second seal. Way down here in this cavern. We just do that to clear the barrier, and... Let's enter the dream world. Can't believe it didn't take too long to find this one. At least, I didn't think that was the case, but here we are. The second seal. Bound for brood for child. Fair bargain made. Give all. For her. For her. For her. Alright, well. And there we go. The second seal has been broken. Let's hold R to focus and grab the second seal. And uh, after this, one more. And then that's it. The second seal is now gone. We're down to one more seal at this point. And then that's it. Hey, it's Hornets! Wait a second. Do I, hold on. Let me just get up first. Hey, Hornet! Oh, whoops. What's up? Yep. Oh, that was her mother. Well, I mean... I guess I had to do what I had to do, really. And I think beyond that door lies something that probably needs to be defeated, and I'm sure Hornet's mother understood that. That's true. Very well. I will do as you want. At this point, I just want to get out of here, so... The exit should be around here somewhere. Of course, I didn't have to deal with these really annoying spiders. Now that I think about it, how the heck did Hornet get in here? Well, either way, once I get myself out of here, then... Well... I'll move on to the next, uh, next spirit. Or the last seal, which... Not sure what's gonna happen after I break open that final seal, but once I do, well... Things are gonna get interesting. I can say that much, and I don't know if this means I'm gonna hit the final boss... Or if I'm going to even make it to that point, or something like that. To tell you the truth, I've got no clue. But I will find out as soon as I'm able to. Which, uh, might take some time, because I don't actually remember the layout on how to get out of here. So, just bear with me. I'll eventually find the exit. that and avoid the enemy, because I don't really want to deal with those things too much, honestly. I've already dealt with enough of them. There was even one guarding the seal, so... Oh, and yeah, I keep hearing rumors, well, maybe not rumors, but, but you know, the, the possibility that Hornet's going to be playable, and if so, I definitely will come back to the game to play her. Yeah, she should be quite fun to play with her... Very, I think she has a kind of a different weapon from what I understand, and she has different abilities to go along with that. So, all right, so I believe I found the exit as soon as I get past this guy, which I'm just going to ignore like I've done before. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. I'm not taking any chances, I'm just going to heal quickly. Yeah, nope. 
I believe this is the exit, though. I can get out of here this way. Yep, found the exit. Excellent. Alright, now we can leave. Still don't know what happened with these guys, but maybe they weren't actually there to begin with, so... But I guess that means we can leave Deep Nest behind and move on to the last spirit. So... Alright, to the exit. Anything different to say? Wait. Yeah. Right. No, 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 no. There we go. Better. Right, so, uh... I believe the best option we have in terms of how close it is is just to go to the resting grounds. Yep, turns out I was correct in that. So, that's the last one right there. The one that with the mask and the one eye. That's the one I'm trying to find. I'm just not sure where exactly it's going to be. But I am sure in time, I will find it. So, I guess let's head on over there. Might as well go talk with the lady and see if she's got anything else to offer us. hoping to check how much essence I got out of that, but I guess I can't do that here. But yeah, I'm trying to go for that last mask there. That's my ultimate goal, because I got the second one, I'm just missing the third. And after that, well, there's going to be some interesting stuff that happens. Yep. So the only one we have left is Lurian the Watcher, which says in his spire, meaning we have to look for... That means it's going to be in the City of Tears, so... That just means I have to go that way, and down the elevator, and that should give me a better hint of where I'm supposed to go. So, we're going to go do that. This will give us a shortcut there. Yeah, I gotta wait for this guy to move, because he's blocking the way. There we go. Then I can just ignore him and just run past. Alright. Right, so we're gonna hit the lever and go down. There we are. Alright. Just gonna climb all the way up here, because I feel like there's something up here. And I'll get to it, don't worry. There is, anyway. Or maybe... oh, hello. Oh, actually, this is just the path to Kingdom Valley. It's not gonna help us here. Getting there's spikes on the spire there. That way, just to discourage people from going that way. Anyway, we're back in the city anyway. Guess we'll climb up as high as we can go. Hmm. I feel like the only hint I've got really is just to go where the ancient basin is, because that might lead all the way up to the spire that I'm looking for. Just a theory though, but we'll head on over there as quickly as I can go. So yeah, I, I don't know. I might be fighting the final boss once I get that last spirit or seal broken. No guarantees on that though, that was close. Get out of here. Yeah, 
shit. It's me. There we are. Out of here. All right, here we are at the King Station, but I'm going to go this way. Right, we'll see if this leads me anywhere in particular that I need to go. Alright, so I'll just use the elevator up here, and that should take me where I need to go. Alright, well, might as well go up this way, because this is the only lead I've got thus far. But at the top should be what I'm looking for. Alright. So up we go. Yeah, all these gates are locked, so I have to go this way. Game's basically telling me I gotta go this way. Yeah, I should, I should probably go to the bench right there because the enemies are gonna respawn anyway if I don't use the bench. But it's a good place to save at least, so good for that. Hmm, okay, so yeah, I think I gotta go this way because that's. You can see that little entrance right there. It might lead all the way up to the tower or the spire where that last seal is. I just gotta clear this guy, I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to take two damage. There we go. Perfect. Good, got the gate open. But I want to go back for the treasure chest, so... Perfect. Alright, now we can move on. open too. So how am I doing? Yeah, I'd say this is about right, where I need to go.
Yeah, look at all these husks here. Kind of a shame, but they've gone crazy. It's just best to put them out of their misery at this point. Yep, there we go. Explains why that door was locked. Now it's open, so I got a shortcut. And we're gonna ride the elevator up after I heal here. Alright. So now I've got two paths I can take. I guess I'll go up here right to the right first. How are we doing? Yep, okay. We've got a long climb up here, don't we? saved. I didn't check you, but I trusted you anyway, so at least my trust was put in good faith. Oh, okay. I think there might be a secret here, but no. But at least I got the grub saved. ready for anything. This is definitely a boss battle, though. The Watcher Knights. Okay. This is gonna be tricky, isn't it? Alright, well, uh... At least I know where I'm going. But yeah, this is where I'm supposed to go. This is the Spire, but looks like I got a mini-boss, possibly, or a boss that's blocking my way. And, uh... The main problem is their numbers at this point, if anything else. Excuse me, yeah. <sighs> Yay. I'm gonna climb all the way up there. Actually, that's not too big of a climb. Still. Got my shade back, although I'm not too sure what's gonna happen now. Well, looks like there's six of them that are gonna be active overall in this fight. I would just go on if I could, but no.
<sighs> so it seems like I'm gonna have to figure out a strategy to take out all of them quickly. And well, yeah, I'm just gonna skip all the fails, or at least not all the fails, at least just skip me walking all the way up there, so I'll be back. Alright, I'm back again, but of course my shade was too far in, so... Here, can I just do this? Ah, of course I can't. Seems like the best strategy is to basically hit them in the air when they're not doing their spinning attack. I honestly don't know how many of, the, of these things spawn. Like, am I gonna have to fight three of them at once at some point? Because this is ridiculous. Just being honest. Ay, ay, no, 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 no. Of course, if you get the elevator, won't. If you accidentally hit the bottom of it while it's going down, you can't make it go back down. It has to go all the way back up before it can be activated again. So that's just great. Alright. Just come on down. Done. Okay. Time to try this fight again. Oh wow, I took that fight or took him down pretty quickly. Like, seriously, I barely have any time to heal is the problem, because if I mess up, that's it. I think this is manageable, but I don't want to lose all my Geo, so I have to do this. And favorably, I want to keep all my lifeblood, because, you know. Yeah, okay, I just want to get that guy, because that's the only guy I have to worry about on the way back. So, yeah, it's just... I think it's just every time I fail, it's just a 30 second trip back, because I already got all the shortcuts enabled, it's just I have to go up two elevators, I gotta wait for them to come down because they're in the way. And I just have to wait, have to wait, have to wait, okay, and then I can go back up, and I can try again. 
is seriously in the way. There. Okay. Oh, I see. So they're here to defend the seal. That explains a lot. Oh, I took no damage from that, okay. I got them all, okay. I just had to focus there. But, okay. Sheesh, it is possible. It just takes... You just have to memorize their movement patterns, and then after that, they're mostly manageable, surprisingly. But that's that. We got the Watcher Knights, which were apparently the defenders of the seal. So... Oh my god, that's a lot of Geo. Sheesh. Is it like a hundred per night that I fought, or and another seal as a reward? So that's pretty good. Checking the time. Oh wow, it's past midnight over here as I'm recording this, but I'm pressing on for as long as I can. Oh, sheesh, wonder what happened here. Well, either way, let's go up the elevator. Hopefully there'll be a bench at some point. And there we are. Oh my, that's the City of Tears from a binocular. That's, that's actually quite cool. Also, I have found the last seal I hate to do this, but, you know, I don't want to risk anything. But it's interesting how they had somebody watch over him. Alright, well, inspect the seal and, uh, and the person, and then go in there and uh, break the final seal of this game. So let's see his dialogue. For King Beloved sleep to serve. Bonds must remain. 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 And remain. Alright, well, 
This is it, the last seal. Takes 10 hits with my nail, but that's it. We have broken the last seal. Oh, gotta hold R to focus. And, uh, there we go. It's done. We broke the last seal of the game. And, uh, now we're gonna find out what happens after doing that. This is it. The last seal is gone. Oh, wow. Alright, well. It's done. All the seals have since been broken. So I guess we're gonna go back down the elevator. That didn't do anything, but okay. Sheesh. That ends that. find a bench, or the nearest bench, obviously I'm gonna go save there. Should be relatively nearby, though. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go back, just because I want to find that bench. here. And the game has been saved. Okay. And there we go. That's what it looks like, but now if anything, we just have to get out of here and go back to a station and then head to the temple. Okay. Okay, so as soon as I get there, well, it's going to be interesting. Oh, didn't time it right. There we go. Okay. So let's get out of here then. Rest on up here. Stag over here. So, I guess I'm gonna go back to the Forgotten Crossroads. Ideally, that'd be my next location. As I'm trying to head towards the temple, and I'm not sure what's gonna happen then. Actually, now that I realize it, probably be best to go back to Dorkmouth, and then I'll just enter through the well. And we should be there. Now, there is a possibility I might be missing an item, but I don't know that for sure. And if so, I'll have to go find that, and then I might be able to fight the final boss of the game. It's gonna be quite interesting to see how that works out. Here, I'll save here just in case anything happens. Ugh, sheesh. 
lot of things have changed since I was last here. Crossroads have become infected. Let's enter the temple, shall we? Oh, and the entrance has been opened. We made it. After all that traveling, we finally did it. But, uh... Yeah, I guess we're gonna go inside and see what happens. Cool, thanks for the bench. I didn't even think that I'd be here. Oh, what's this? Alright. Oh, completion percentage viewable in inventory. So how far have I managed to get through? So I've encountered 106 creatures, and completed 71 of them. But how about my overall game? Oh, 65% completion. Sheesh. Actually, I don't think I'm going to proceed any further just for the moment, because I want to save my Geo if I can. Or make Actually, I'm going to make use of it back in Dirtmouth, and then I'm actually going to go find out what's beyond that fog. So, just to save a little time, I'm going to do this. Might as well make the most of the money I've got right now. The journey ahead, because it's going to be hard. I don't know what I might be about to fight. Oh yeah, along the way I'll pick up this seal that I've somehow missed. Going down here a couple times already. So anything for you here? Still no lingering regrets, huh? Oh. <sighs> here, I'll purchase the remaining maps for the game. I'll do the one for the Queen's Gardens, too. Let's see... Okay, I think that's all I'm really gonna need. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna buy the Mask Shard that you've got left. And I'll buy your last item. Heavy blow. Yeah, bought in everything he's got. Alright, so I'm just trying to think what my next move should be. Well, if anything, I actually want to go find- Ah, she's all the way down there near the resting grounds. I see. Well, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and uh, skip and go ahead and try to buy some stuff from her. Maybe another notch if I can. Might be able to get a charm on there if I can, but I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back, and the good news is... I'm, I'm able to buy another charm notch, which I'm gonna do now. And... Alright. <laughs> Let's see what we can do. I'm just gonna go outside, and there's a nearby bench. Gonna rest on that, and we're gonna see what we can put on. 
Let's see. I think I can take this off at this point. I don't really need it on anymore. Let's replace it with something that's going to be important. The journey ahead. Yeah, I'll think about that. Let's see. Yeah, actually it might be a good idea to put that on there, just because I'm probably going to need it. And then I will do Sprint Master, and I think this will do, actually. Yeah, I'd say this will do just fine, going into the battle ahead. Alright, well, I'm gonna go all the way back now to where the uh, temple is, and uh, we'll see what happens. So I'll join you guys once I'm back there. Alright, I made it back, so now we're gonna go in and see what we're just gonna encounter. Because, yeah, oh yeah, we're entering the Black Egg, which, uh, literally no clue what's gonna happen, really, but I made sure to use all, pretty much all my Geo, just to get a couple of upgrades and buy anything else I wanted to before going into this. So, I'm gonna rest on this specific stool. I guess we'll inspect this again for those who might have missed it. And, uh, yeah, and it's... I can look at the proof completion percentage. Alright, in we go. Is that what I think it is? Oh, hello. Gotta cut the chains down. Probably thinking, is this a mistake? Well, I don't know. We're about to find out. Oh boy. Ah, alright, well, he's free. This might have been a mistake. It's the Hollow Knight! We're not even the Hollow Knight, we're just a knight! This is the actual real deal Hollow Knight. Oh, sheesh. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. Freeing this guy was clearly a mistake, I can say that much. I'm kind of glad I spent my Geo earlier. There we go. Alright, we're going back in. And even then, I can go back if I want to. At least I know his pattern a little more.
There we are. Oh, I could have done a grand art there. Oh well. I'll do it next time I get the chance. Actually, I'm going to heal instead. Not feeling too confident on that. I'm just gonna heal. Wait, is he trying to kill himself? Or is that just me? What? Well, the dramatic tension was ruined because I died, so yeah. Forget that then. Okay, back in to try again. Like, literally, the only reason why I'm not getting too crazy is that I'm right next to the boss room in the shade outside of the boss room. So... Oh, uh, whoops. Probably should have kept my distance there to try to do a grand art. Oh, now he's angry. There we go. Nice hit there. Look at him, he's basically trying to wear himself down, and I'm really confused why he's doing that, but, you know, he's kind of a maniac from what I understand, so... I think he's made that perfectly clear. Are you not done? Well, I'm just gonna heal, so... Just keep going. I'll get him down eventually. And that's it! Hollow Knight is down. Oh, now's my chance. Let's focus. Time to end this Hollow Knight. Oh my god, whoa, okay. I think I just sucked in the whole universe right there. Whoa, okay.
something tells me this is probably a mistake. Oh. Oh my. Well, I just sealed myself, so... There we go. Well, I defeated the Hollow Knight. Oh wow, and I got an achievement unlocked. The Hollow Knight. A game by Team Cherry. Well, I guess that technically means I beat the game, although from what... I mean, is this the true ending? Is this how it's supposed to end? That can't be how it's supposed to end. There's just no way. Well, either way, that's that's the game. Gotta say, I mean, if I were to just end it here, I'd say that Hollow Knight was a fantastic game. Pretty fun to go through these last couple of days, and I can't believe I was able to beat it within a few days. You know, beat the game in a sense, I beat a final boss of some sorts. You know? I did not think I would get to this point, really, but there you go. I did it. I think that technically is the end of the game right there. Unless I want to fight more bosses or go back to a certain place that I wanted to go to. But if I do that, it's going to be another time. I just wanted to get through the game as quickly as I could while also having fun with it. And I did have fun with it. Definitely a fun game. And I can't believe I held off on it for a year and a half. I bought this game back in July 5th, 2017. And for some reason, I decided I'm not going to play this game until later. I'm just not going to bother. Because I'm, I guess admittedly, I got kind of lazy and I just decided I wasn't going to for a while. Next thing you know, I played the game this year after a year delay, a little over a year delay, and uh, I beat the game. Or at least I beat the game in the sense that I did defeat a final boss, I got an ending of some sorts. And uh, yeah, I don't know if this was a bad ending or a good ending, but from what I understand, it might have been an a bad ending, technically, because I don't think the Hollow Knight's supposed to- or, I mean, the Knight, not the Hollow Knight, is supposed to be captured. Now, I could be wrong on this, but I don't know for sure. I think we'll find out in a little bit. But I know a lot of development time went into this game, and congratulations to the indie team that worked so hard on this. Because it really is a good game. It's a nice little Metrovania-type game, and it's actually really fun to get some of that. So I'm glad I got my chance to play through it these last couple of days and also finish the game, at least in one set, in a sense. And also, there was a Kickstarter for the game. That's how the game even managed to get onto Steam and whatnot. That's how it managed to get to this point. So, good job Steam, and good job Kickstarter. Oh, wow. Thank you for that. I did persevere in triumph over something, at least. I will now press the left mouse button, and, uh... Game completion, how'd we do? 66%! And it took me 16 hours. Well, a little over 16 hours to get to that point, or at least complete the game in one of the endings. Wow. And I have unlocked Steel Soul mode. Oh, sheesh. No shade, no reviving, death is permanent. The ultimate challenge. Let me just say... There is just... I don't think I could do this, let me tell you the truth. I would probably be screwed. If I tried to do this mode. I appreciate the option, but when it comes to hard modes, I just don't think I could do it. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I just don't think it's going to happen, though, because I will probably fail on the first boss in the game, and it's not going to end well for me, so... There we go. Any extras? Okay, start game. We're going to press the button here, and, uh... Yeah, technically this is one of those games where it saves right outside the final boss. So, uh, yeah. I think that's honestly gonna be it for me, guys. I did complete the game and did get one of the endings. So, I think I'm gonna stop here. So, thanks for watching, everybody, and, uh, that's all. Yellow Lord signing off.